So if you guys aren't aware, I have a cat named Luna, right? She's about a year and a half old. She's an adorable black little kitten, right? And for those of you guys that watch my streams, you know that she is absolutely crazy. She's literally the most wild kitten I've ever seen in my life. Well, today I'm gonna throw some pictures up on the screen for you guys. This is what I came to when I got home from work today. Somehow she managed to literally get under the bed and claw the underside of the bed all the way down And she climbed all the way up under into the bottom of the mattress. She was literally inside the mattress, bro I'm sitting here like bro This is not what I want to deal with on a Monday afternoon after getting home from work But anyways, that's got nothing to do with the video I just found it really hilarious and thought that I would share it with you guys because a lot of you that watch my streams know that Luna is literally a nut job but welcome back to the channel. My name is Gesture, also known as Jake, and this is episode two of Creator Tip Tuesdays. So on this episode of Creator Tip Tuesdays, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add filters to your microphone on OBS that you can use while you're streaming and also while you're recording videos. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with what filters are, basically it's stuff, some simple stuff like noise suppression. That way it doesn't pick up all the background noise in your room. You can also add noise gates. That way it doesn't pick up audio up to a certain level. So like if you're, you have a really loud key keyboard or something, you can be able to cut that out very easily. And you can also add a compressor, which helps when you get really loud, it's going to kind of lower the volume without losing the the depth of the volume, if that makes sense, you know? So to do this, we're gonna head over to OBS Studio. I'm gonna drag it over here now. You're gonna see a little bit of streamception for a minute here in the center, um, but you are going to come down to your audio mixer down here and you're going to click the settings icon on your mic slash aux and you're going to go to filters right here. So when you open up the screen, you will likely have nothing over here on this left side of your screen. You guys will notice I already have stuff over here on the left side because I'm already using a lot of filters. Now what you want to do is come over here to the bottom left, you're going to have a plus button click on the plus and the first one we're going to add is noise suppression so we're gonna click on noise suppression um, you'll see I already have noise suppression set up so I'm gonna add it but I'm not gonna mess with it I'm actually going to delete it um, and I'm gonna come up here to my other noise suppression that I have so you want to make sure that the eyeball is lit up white and it's not grayed out with a cross through it that means that you're actively using that filter um, and basically like I said what noise suppression does is it's gonna block out all the background noise um, so basically if you have a really loud room you might want to take this higher up if you have a less quiet room You might want to take it a little more down. I run negative 35 I find that to be the best for me, but just keep in mind that your mileage may vary All right So the next filter we're going to add is a noise gate So we're gonna come down here to the plus button again And we're going to click noise gate and we're going to add it um, again, I already have one up here, so I am not going to be using the one I just added. Like I said on the noise suppression, you're more than welcome to copy all of my settings. Just keep in mind your mileage, depending on what microphone you have, may vary a little bit. But we'll run through this real quick. My close threshold, I have it negative 35. The close threshold is basically saying after your microphone drops under negative 35 decibels, it's going to completely mute itself. So it's not gonna be giving any audio through. The open threshold is the exact opposite. Basically, once your mic crosses over negative 28, it's going to kind of open up and act Activate. Uh, my attack is 25 milliseconds. So your attack is basically how fast it's going to activate the noise gate. And now your whole time, I have it 200 milliseconds. Your whole time is basically how long uh, it's going to kind of hold on to your microphone before it mutes itself. You don't want this to be too short because if you set it too short, your words are going to start to get cut off. Um, especially if you're talking a little bit away from the mic and then you start to quiet down It's gonna basically if, it, if your hold time is really short It's gonna like instantly cut your voice off and you don't want that and then the release time the last one I have at 150 milliseconds This is how long it's going to take OBS to basically completely turn off your microphone and mute it almost So that is the noise gate um, really helpful especially for keeping out like key clacking and stuff It's really gonna help you keep all that noise out um, and the last one we're going to set up is a compressor. So again, click the plus button, come down here to compressor and add it. The compressor is probably one of the most helpful tools that I use personally um, because I definitely get really loud on my streams. And what a compressor is going to do, it's basically going to help uh, lower your volume when you get really loud. That way your audio doesn't start to peak in anything and start to really get distorted and whatnot. So what this ratio is going to do is basically after your volume crosses over negative 11 decibels, it's going to every one decibel above that, it's going to drop it by three. 
This is really going to help whenever you start peeking and get really loud. It's going to be able to drop that down automatically without you having to worry about doing anything yourself. So this thing is a super, super, super cool uh, feature. Compressor is like a lifeline on all of my streams. Um, the attack, we're going to use 20 milliseconds. We want it to be rather quick. You could probably even lower it down to like a 10 millisecond. So the release, we're rocking at one millisecond and the output gain, we're going to rock at zero. So I'm going to show you guys one last filter you can add. If you notice that your mic is a little low on the volume side, I don't personally use it because I actually have a gain uh, knob on my Blue Yeti itself. Uh, but if you don't have any type of gain knob or volume knob on your mic, what you're going to do is come down here and click the plus button. We're going to add a gain filter. Um, basically what this is going to do is just turn up the volume of your mic. So if you're noticing that your mic is rather low, just basically drag this gain knob up a little bit, drag it up to maybe uh, three, see what that sounds like. Do a little testing with it. If it still doesn't sound loud enough, bump it up to maybe five, six, seven. Just do a lot of trial and error with it. Um, don't take it way too high because you're gonna run into a lot of distorting and everything. But if you do need a little extra volume, just drop that uh, gain bar up to maybe five, six, maybe seven at the most. And now you got a beautiful sounding mic whenever you do streams or you make videos within OBS. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit subscribe. We are getting super close to 6,000 subscribers already. My mind's kind of blown. Um, so thank you guys for all the support on the channel. Seriously, it means a lot. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Um, if you have a topic that you want me to cover in the next Creator Tip Tuesday video, make sure you drop it down below in the comments. I'll be looking through all of them. And I think that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Peace. Man, what the heck's he doing? I think he's glitched. Look. I think he's glitched, dude. He's going into the ceiling, Zach. Bro. Oh my god. <laughs> Get down, dude. What are you doing up there? Dude, if he gets stuck up there, it's Dude, he's in the ceiling, bro. No, it's fine. He's not attacking us. Look. My lobs can't reach out. He's just sitting up there, dude. <laughs> what are you doing, Wendigo?